Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the farm. I'm Justin. And we got kind of a rough morning going here. It's Saturday morning, came out to do chores. Went over by Cadence's chicken and saw one of our mobile chickens laying dead in the field. So we had a predator attack last night. Came over to the mobile coop here, looked around. There's just little feather clumps everywhere. And it looks like we lost about half our chickens. We had 15 yesterday. This morning I come out and I count eight. I'm hoping some of them kind of flew off and then we'll come back, but finding two full intact dead birds, another partial carcass, and then all the little feather puffs I'm seeing around, it's, it's not looking promising. So whatever our predator attack was, it definitely came in underneath the fences. Because there's a couple areas that look like this where we have feathers stuck in the fencing and there's feathers on either side of the fence. So the animal came in, grabbed the chicken, and then pulled them back out. So normally we'd have this fence electrified 24 hours a day, except for in winter when the snow comes up and it, it won't work. Unfortunately, this summer we have not done that yet. The uh, batteries in the solar chargers haven't been holding a charge, so they haven't been working at night. At least they didn't last summer. And we just haven't gotten around to getting new batteries, so I didn't even bother putting it out because we've, we've had such little issues with predators. And unfortunately, now we're paying for it. But let's go take a look around and see if we can find any more signs. So kind of walking around here, I found a bunch of tracks coming right through our little pathway between our two fields. And this right here, that looks like the perfect imprint of a raccoon. So I'm pretty sure our problem is raccoons. And if you can see behind me, this leads right to the coop and there are just tons of them coming in and out of here. So we're thinking that the raccoon attacks are happening kind of early morning hours because last night at dusk when I came to put Cadence's chickens to bed, I didn't notice any feathers out. I didn't see the, the chicken carcass. And also that coop door, we have it set up. It opens up really early in the morning. So the chickens are always out really early. So I think what we're gonna to try to do first is change the setting on the coop door and make that open up later. And then we're also gonna take the electric fence and we're gonna hook some power up to it. So that way when the raccoons come up, they'll get hit hard with the electric. And they won't wanna come back. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move the coop away from all the trees so that way the raccoons can't climb up into the trees over and jump down in. And hopefully that'll keep our remaining eight chickens safe. If that doesn't work, well, then we gotta to go to more drastic measures with the raccoons. All right, so we're out here. We gotta gather up these eight chickens, get them inside their coop so we can move them to new pasture. Normally when we move our chickens to a new section of pasture, they're usually closing the coop. We either turn off the automatic door or we wouldn't have opened them in the morning. Since this is kind of an unplanned move, we have to actually round up the chickens, which can always be a little bit difficult. Well, that wasn't horrible. It wasn't too bad. Oh, I think getting to... four in right away was easier than having to corral all eight out here. Yep. So you ready to move the chickens? I am. All right, let's do it.
All right, so we got the coop moved to the complete opposite field from where it was before, thinking we'll keep the new the chickens that survived away from where the, the kill zone was, so that way if there's any smells or leftover pieces, predators will go over there, they're attracted to that, and stay away from our chickens. So now the plan is to take the solar charger we had been using for the pigs last summer. Hopefully it's still in working order. We're gonna hook that up to the chicken netting. It's gonna hooked up. Yep. All right, so the fence post that the solar charger is on now is seven foot tall, it's five feet in the air. Kind of hard to get at the switch and stuff. So we're gonna take a smaller T post, pound it in next to this fence. Hopefully get that charger a little bit lower. So next we need to ground our fence. So we're gonna put in this ground rod a few feet. The fence says you're supposed to have a few of these six feet deep. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna put one in and it should work just fine. All right, so now we can go ahead and hook our fence up to the charger. We're just gonna use this charger temporarily. We'll end up ordering a new battery for our Premier One solar charger that's actually designed for chickens. We're gonna use this for now just cause it's got more of a punch and we, we want these predators to feel it. So we're gonna actually use the clips from our Premier One. Normally you would end up using uh, insulated wire to go to your ground and then another insulated wire to go to your fence. We're gonna skip that. We're just gonna use the alligator clips cause it's quick and easy for us now. So first thing we'll do, is hook up our ground. So you go on the green terminal on the charger and then we'll hook the alligator clip to our ground rod. And then we'll hook up our power side. Then we can take that, hook that to our fence. All right, so now we got this hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and test it. And we're hitting about 4,000 volts, so hopefully that'll be enough to deter whatever comes around. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and reset our door. We got, right now we're in light mode if we wanna stay. The light now is 100% light. We have it open at 27, so we wanna change that. So it opens later. So I think we're gonna change that to 40, and we'll start with that. We just hold OK, level updated, and then we have it closing at 0% light because we had it closing at 6 and some of the chickens were still getting locked out. So we have it closed at 0. I'm going to come out tonight and check and see if all the chickens got in. If they didn't, I might set a delay for that for 15 minutes or something like that to give the chickens a little more time to get in. So it was really kind of a bummer of a day, huh? It was. Not the best way to start our day, no. having half our flock just gone. Yep. Not even a year old. Right. But hopefully the precautions we took today will make things a little bit safer and hopefully we won't lose any more and the predators will learn to stay away. Yep. Well, we just want to say thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.